could ride the waves together And I love you, girl In my worry, I will take you everywhere I go So I say from me to you I will make your dreams come true when we think about homelessness so often we think about someone out on the sidewalk with a shopping cart but the real face of homelessness is an eight-year-old boy or girl when dealing with issues of extreme poverty and homelessness on top of simply taking care of children um, sometimes it can just all collapse on itself. Homeless children don't attend school regularly, they don't succeed in school, physical development is delayed, cognitive development is delayed. Compass is there to provide that support for families. Across the country there's a paradigm shift happening to end homelessness and Compass Community Services is part of the solution. What Compass is doing is very different than what other social service providers are doing. They're focusing on housing, they're focusing on prevention, and they're focusing on providing the dignity and stability that families need. Families that we see often come from a good deal of trauma. A good number of our families are employed, but they're not adequately employed. Most families have deeper, longer-term issues they don't have the income, they don't have childcare, they don't have the skills to be able to get employment that is going to sustain them. So we're trying to help families figure out what their goals are and to help them to move towards meeting them. We really try to look at each family as um, unique, which they are, um, with their own set of strengths and uh, areas in which they need support. I've been here for three weeks. My situation is that people always think that it's because you're lazy or um, or you're addicted to something or I don't know, but it's not always like that. It's just hard. What kind of things do you want her to? know about you when she grows up, the things you did for her, and the kind of things that I was always there. This is something I wanted to work on with you as you're at Compass, what kind of mom you want to be for her. You want to be the mom that you're already doing, which is getting housing applications and going to all your meetings on time so you can get that housing on Treasure Island and making a really stable life for her. Well, I think I'm going to get housing. They hooked me up. It's low-income housing. And you get like a decent apartment with the kitchen and rooms and everything a regular home would have. I'm applying for graveyard shifts, places where I can just work nights so her dad can watch her. What's giving me my determination? The baby. Two weeks prior to giving birth to Kaya, we moved into the shelter at 111 Taylor. Sean had just started working at his job for UPS. Kaya was born the first week that I started at UPS. If you're employed while you stay at Compass, they do have an account that they hold a large percentage of your wages so that when you are ready to move, you have money to move into housing. When you're in shelter, you attend a house meeting. They'll have a topic of the night, like health care, for instance, or they'll have a, or a, a house vision. search. Right, or how, that was a huge housing. one. They had housing pro, uh, searches and and how to fill out a job application or how to fill out a housing application. Being that we moved to Oakland when Kaya was only six months old, she has grown up around a lot of different people and she's seen a lot of different things. She's definitely a city kid. But also I feel good about what we're creating in you know, in inside this, <laughs> our house. And we were always playing music, we're dancing, we're trying to, you know, she's doing, producing a lot of art, you know. She's um, an amazing artist. She, yeah. And, stacks and stacks of books. Literature is really important. She loves opening books and trying to read even herself. Kai has definitely been an inspiration to not fall back into some of our negative patterns. Just some of the basic mechanics of being responsible and paying bills and having a structure and focus and a stable environment. Compass played a huge role in our life in giving us some stability at a time where we really needed it. 
we were in a really slippery spot and we got our foot planted and we were able to work from that and attain what we have today. We have a home. We have a home. So I say from me to you, I will make your dreams come true. The Tenderloin Child Care Center is an oasis from the drug use, the drug dealing, the violence in the community. Families are dealing with housing crisis. It's pretty hard for a child who's worried about where they're going to sleep that night um, to participate in a learning activity. Some of the issues that I deal with are around trauma, being in domestic violence situations, and in abusive relationships. Also having to move around to different shelters, different locations for different schools and not really feeling secure. So Derek wants to be a baker when he grows up. What about you, Kimberly? You want to be a cook? I'm going to be a power ranger. You're going to be a power ranger when you grow up? The behavioral effects with children can come out as being very aggressive, hitting other children, biting, pulling hair. It varies according to where they are developmentally. We really provide a strong foundation for the children and a strong foundation in their educational needs, support around their intellectual growth, their social growth, their emotional growth. And then we work with families so that they can not only support their children's education after they leave here, but they can actually advocate. Eugene and Patricia Irby were a real integral part of the Clara House program. They lived with their family here for two years. Patricia Irby is very interested in becoming a California alcohol and drug counselor, so she worked very, very hard in, in, to acquire that um, certificate. It was a long journey getting here. We had some substance issues. Luckily, we got into Clara House, which was a blessing. Clara House gave us the opportunity to be, to be a family. We had to set goals and to reach them. I made appointments for the kids, right. just stepped up to my mother responsibilities. Clara House became that um, safety net for us, so we didn't have to fall back into the pit. It gave us opportunity to build some skills, how to manage your money, live life on life's terms on a daily basis, how not to give up so easily, and how to have some confidence in yourself. I told um, Barbara that I, I wanted to work with computers. She suggested school. I had given her a flyer that I had for digital printing and publishing. So I went to City College. The thought of going back to school really scared me. But I, I did very well. My dad got a job. They're working hard now, and I'm just so proud of them. School is the most important thing in this household now. I just want my kids to move forward. I want my husband to be well and, and just feel good inside about himself. I want my kids to be successful, to have a career instead of a job. For us to be as secure as we can, as loving as we can, and as happy as we can. Our ultimate goal is for families to be stable and we want them to have healthy relationships with their children. One of the largest growing sectors of homelessness in this country and in the city are families. And we have a moral obligation, an ethical obligation to deal with this. Literally hundreds of families through the work of COMPASS um, have been housed. Uh, the city shares a vision with Compass that family homelessness could be ended. When I grow up, I want to be Spider-Man. My dream is to save a bank. That's cool, okay. I'm gonna swim up a I want to be cool. When I grow up, I want to be a Dora Flora. I want to be a doctor. I want to be a vitamin. I want to be like my dad when I grow up. Because my dad 
is a hard-working African-American man. Mm. It just makes me proud. When I say for you.